Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another reading vlog. So as always, this introduction clip is taken immediately after my outro from my last video. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm still just reading Hunger Games Catching Fire. I will be doing a review of this, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I mean, you'll, I'll probably finish it this vlog, I imagine. It's not going to take me longer than a week to read it. I might even finish uh, Mockingjay this vlog. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious I feel and I guess how much reading I get done. And um, yeah, maybe even I might finish um, Le Chien de Baskerville as well, The Hound of the Baskervilles. I've got about 80 pages left to go. But I'm only managing to read like four to six pages a night because it's, it's pretty heavy going because, I mean, it's French. It's difficult. <laughs> Good Lord, send help. I am ready. Let's do this. All right, I hit the ogre and then I got like, I'm running away. Run the hell away. My guy's an archer, you see, but I'm trying to solo play it too. So here we go, look. I pulled away from the pack a bit. Let's see if I can hit this ogre again with my bow. Die, dickhead. Oh! Yeah, he's dead. Oh, what? Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, the ogre's dead. I, I am paused. Okay, right. Okay, run away because the wolves can do quite a lot of damage. Run away from the wolf. Alright, let's try and turn around and shoot him. Oh Christ, I've, I've equipped my sword. This is genuinely stressing me out. Okay, the wolf's gone the other way for some reason, so I could turn around and shoot it. Oh, I missed. Oh, good. I think, I think I might be dying. I think I'm, yeah. God damn it. Oh, I'm feeling rubbish, so I'm watching Death in Paradise with my hot water bottle. And my den. So as you might remember from my last reading vlog, I worked the bar at the boxing on Saturday. And I think I might have caught a cold from somebody there. I felt a bit dodgy yesterday. Today, I feel really dodgy. Uh, you can kind of hear it in my voice. So I was going to go to an open mic night tonight because I was going to play some bass guitar and sing some backing vocals and, uh, and Noemi was going to come and we were going to have dinner, but that's not happened. So I've just stayed in feeling terrible. Um, yeah, I am going to go and see it tomorrow though. We're probably going to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the new Quentin Tarantino movie, which I haven't seen yet. So I'm really excited about seeing that. And I think she's gonna look after me, so that's nice. Although I don't, I don't want to give her germs. Like I know as well, she said to me, um, like gymming's really important to her. She goes to the gym maybe five times a week, and uh, like the only time she normally doesn't go to the gym is if she's drank the night before. Because and the reason being is because when she's hungover and whatnot, and your muscles aren't at their best, she doesn't want to overstretch herself and injure herself, so she can't go to the gym. So. I'm like, are you sure you want to see me? What if I make you too ill to go to the gym? But I think she wants to risk it. I mean, to be fair, she, if, she, if she was gonna get whatever I've got, I feel like she would have already got it because I must have got it over the weekend. And I, so I saw her Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then started feeling ill on Monday. And now it's Tuesday now, I feel really bad. And she feels okay. So I'm like, chances are, if she was gonna get it, she would have got it. Sorry, I'm not making much sense because my head's all over the place as well. I've done a little bit of work. I've been doing my review slash spark notes of Bring Your Humor to Work by Erica Keswin. It's not particularly interesting. It's just a non-fiction book. I mean, there is stuff you could learn from it, I guess, about leadership and management and all that stuff. And much more excitingly, I have read The Hunger Games... Oh, I've been reading The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So I'm about 210 pages in. We have just got to the point at which she realises she has to go back into the Hunger Games and it's halfway through the book. I thought it took up more of the book than that. So, yeah, we've had like 100 pages of wedding plans and love triangle, which isn't really my cup of tea, but I mean, it's not been terrible. So there is that. Oh, oh and I read some more Sherlock Holmes last night, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to tonight. And I've been playing more Baldur's Gate as well. I am now at the Friendly Arm Inn. Actually, I'm one map area north of the Friendly Arm Inn. Um, killing some Ankegs. 
But I realised the reason why I'm getting my ass kicked by everything is because I have it on the hardest possible difficulty. Oh, yo, it's Thursday. Um, yesterday was probably, well, the last couple of days were probably the worst two days of my cold. It's been a bit better today, so I'm hoping that I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and hopefully tomorrow I'll be a lot better. I think I'm about 60% at the moment, but tomorrow night I'm hopefully going out to see some live music and to have a few beers. Um, so hopefully I get better. I guess if not, I probably will still go out, but I just won't have some beers. But yeah, because of that, I've been pretty much taking it easy and just been sat at home. What is new? Well, I'm literally, I've got like six pages left of Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, the second Hunger Games book. There will be a full review of this, so I'll link to that below as well. And up next, I think I'm just going to go straight into Mockingjay and read Mockingjay. I'm also a little bit over two thirds of the way through my Sherlock Holmes book, Le Chien de Baskervilles. So yes, all is good apart from the fact that I feel terrible. Now Biggie's here as well. Hey Biggie, what are you up to? He's over there. What you? We look. All right. So yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, and I've been playing some more Baldur's Gate. I'm now. Where am I at the moment? Oh, I'm about to head back to the Friendly Arm Inn to sell some stuff and whatnot, and then I think I'm off to uh, Nashville to investigate the mines. Ding leg, which is the right leg, which must be kept straight. The left leg. Is this learning to play snooker toe, with the peaky blinders? The table. So when you bend the left knee, is it Biggie? That goes right over I think the it is. Ideally. Hello, it is Friday. I am still a little bit ill with my cold. I think I'm about 70 to 75% now. Hopefully well enough to be going out this evening to go see Noemi and to go and see a guy called Maz Manzini. He hosts a, he hosts the Sunday Jam that I went to last Sunday actually, but his band, the Maz Manzini Trio, are playing at... Uh, the Bellevue so we might go there to check out some music but we might even just go for an hour and then go back to hers because obviously I'm not very well she's also out in London first with her housemates because it's his leaving drinks so I'm just cracking on with being productive and getting some work done gonna go for a shower in a minute and then I guess I basically I just come when I'm called you know uh, I've also been reading some more so I finished off reading Catching Fire which I gave 3.75 out of 5 to and now I'm on page 154 of Mockingjay, which actually is going better than I thought it was because I didn't really like the movie of Mockingjay, but so far the book of it has been pretty good. Um, I don't know, I think maybe because they split it up into two movies, so the book just feels faster paced and as though more is happening, and um, yeah, I'm kind of a fan of that I guess. So I'm going to keep reading this, I reckon I'll probably be just about finishing it by the end of the weekend. I've also got um, Persuasion by Jane Austen as my bedtime book. I'm on page about 160 of 260 of that, I think. And uh, Le Chant de Baskerville, which is The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in French. <laughs> Hello, it is me. Okay, so what happened yesterday? Uh, I went out to meet my friend Dave, and we went to see uh, our friend Clara play at the Three Tons, and then we went to see the Maz Manzini Trio at the Bellevue and bumped into some other friends there, and then I went back to Noemi's. This afternoon, I've been doing some cooking and stuff, so that's been nice. And then in a little bit, I think I am back off to the other side of town to watch a movie called Parasite and to eat some delicious food and maybe to drink this sort of two thirds bottle of wine I've got left over because I was cooking some um, spag bol spaghetti bolognese vegan style but with some red wine and so now I kind of need to drink the red wine at some point otherwise it's going to go to waste unless I cook something else with it which I may do oh and the other thing I've got to mention here is that I've received this this is from a box of stories amazing stories a surprise box and uh, this is, yeah, it's, um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this and a review of it on my blog site. But uh, basically it's a new book subscription service, so I've got to get my stuff up before like the Christmas rush and stuff. But you can get either like a fiction box or my one is a mixture of fiction and non-fiction. And it's specifically like tailored to you as well, so I think they've gone onto my Goodreads and stuff and like found stuff that I might like. 
So, pretty stoked about that. I mean, I have a publicly viewable wish list as well. They could have just dipped into that, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> The sun's zooming in, engines stop running, wheat is growing thin, a nuclear era. But I have no fear, cause London is drowning and I live by the river. I run the risk of losing you and that's worse Ever fall in love with someone Ever fall in love In love with someone Ever fall in love In love with someone You shouldn't fall in love with And I don't give a fuck If you don't agree I probably look uh, ill and malnourished today because, but well, apparently I do. I got a lovely comment from somebody uh, saying that, oh yeah, they call me a brainwashed vegan and said that I look ill. And I'm like, wow, well, it, like, I look a lot less ill than I did when I was like four stone heavier when I wasn't vegan, but hey ho. And I also, ironically, I am actually currently ill. So it's like, well, I've got a cold, mate. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> First cold I've had for like two years. Um, anyway, where are we? It is Monday. It has been a bad couple of days for anxiety and mental health, really. Just some things have happened. I've done some silly things as well. And just not feeling the best about myself as a person. But also, just like, little things like that comment. But I've ha overheard some people say some stuff about me that I don't think they wanted me, they expected me to hear. Which wasn't very nice. And just, I'm just a bit like, sad you know just a bit sad it's not been great I went for a walk earlier though so that was good and I am trying to make things a little like I'm trying to make myself a little happier I guess I'm making I'm attempting to make some mince pies uh, so actually I'll show you I'm quite impressed so I've only got one in the oven at the moment so this is like my mince which is like so that was all uh, what have we got in there a few herbs and spices and stuff over here some just like some mixed dried fruit and uh, yes, yeah, some agave nectar, some coconut oil, and here we have, I haven't actually tried any of this, it's probably really bad for you to eat this, isn't it, but, mm. And so, in the oven, I have my first attempt at a mince pie. Look at that, it's actually, I mean, you can kind of tell what it is, it's almost done as well actually, I'm going to give it a couple, another minute or two. Mmm. 
I am excited about that shit. So yeah, uh, other than doing my walk and that little bit of baking today, I've just been working really, been a little bit productive, watched a lot of YouTube, just been trying to take my mind off things at the moment. Uh, I've also been reading some more of uh, Mockingjay, The Hunger Games Mockingjay, Suzanne Collins, book number three. So I am about 110 pages away, something like that. So, um, so yeah, it is what it is, man, it is what it is. So that's where I am with that. And then I think up next, I might read Aliens by Alan Dean Foster. It's the novelization of the movie, so I might watch that and then watch the movie again as well. Uh, oh yeah, I played at the Sunday Jam yesterday as well. I also got horrendously drunk afterwards, just being depressed and down and by myself. Still a bit shit, but it's the end of this vlog anyway. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this existential crisis. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.